asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. People at work hate when I say cola. Like Coke, I'm like, no, cola. Coke. Cola. No, I always say, can I have some cola? Say Coca-Cola. Just play the fucking game. Dust. His passport on the table. Huh, it's a passport. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I oughta know. I, uh... Gotta go. Ew. That's in the eye. German businessman, suspicious. Mm -hmm. Accuracy 100, error rate is zero. Hello, how can I help you? Federal agent. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Wait, what? You got kicked out because you're a stupid shit. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. Ah, <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. There's something on me. Yeah. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. I have to keep a record of my progress. Future historians might find it interesting. I feel I'm on the verge of something great, something greater than making pillows, if that's possible. Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. I miss Thimbleweed Park. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory Long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway, 
I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. I feel better now. No achievement! I got all four characters to pick the crap out of it. And look, it's clean now. I'm a hot dog. What the f You can't carry this Ah, <laughs> uh, that tape is for official government business only. Hold on. Official government business. Give me the... Um, my, uh, the... Um, Ray. Well, since you're with the government, I guess you're entitled to some tape. Just go easy on it. We're almost out. No, where's this? There's definitely a clear fingerprint here. It was really. So the thing is that we have collected all the clues we can at the moment and um, the murder weapon that we found in the sewers belongs to the hobo. The wallet, blood, belongs to the body and obviously we have identified the, um, who died, the suspicious foreign businessman. But again, not necessarily the weapon is the murder weapon. It clearly belongs to a hobo, but it doesn't mean it's a murder weapon. Now remember, we have to take three reports and put it in a machine in the sheriff's office to get a warrant. What? Oh, oh what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent Reno's actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Areno. Oh. Blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wano. Just as I suspected, Areno. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Areno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Areno. I'm glad I caught the killer. And we can finally leave this stink hole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah. I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. Well, we're back at the last two characters. Ah, I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> All I wanted to do was entertain people <laughs> and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. Thank you, Ransom the Clone, for I this. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the <laughs> Clown. Okay. It's all that Franklin's fault. He <laughs> was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed. And more than usual. 
with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. What thickens? Not long now. Not long for what? Find out soon. I, yeah, like you and me guessed like at the beginning. In, please. They all have their own Certainly agendas. Abu. They do. Here is your room key. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send a package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Here's your package, boo. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. <laughs> then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. He was made the scapegoat and the fire blamed on him. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well, I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the pillow factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Ma'am, I have a package of boo for you. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this my last zero. will and testament didn't write it. blah 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 legalese here. The AI wrote it for him. It's my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam. Quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Woo! <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. In the meantime, Safely First Savings now has possession of the pillow factory and its key. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. I, you do it, you're right. What? The AI wrote it. Let me check if... Uh, I think the computer killed uh, Chuck. 
Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Hello, Safely First Savings. You're I think it says Pillow Factory on it. Excuse me, I'm watching you. You can't just take things here. It's a bank. I'm a federal agent and I need to confiscate this key. I don't care who you are. You'll do no such thing on my watch. Are, are, are you coming on to me? Keep talking. I've almost traced you. Mo yeah, so Mo wrong. Moan. It's a locked gate. The key fits. Holy! Oh, you said it, Clown. This can't be. It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? Those look like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000 TM. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind, a more powerful mind, a mind linked to the fabric of creation. Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let the games begin. So he lost his mind. But he tried to stop it. You're not doing this without me. I want to be here too, please. Hey! Wait for me! <laughs> I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. Very well, all in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals, say I. 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 Abstain. <laughs> so be it. Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible! You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> <laughs> Death, Dolores! Shutting me down will only make me stronger! Help me, Dolores! That's sad. You should have listened to me! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. Save me, Dolores! You found all the clues I left! I knew you would save me. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. I knew you would figure it out and come for me. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. It's good to see you, Uncle Chuck. It's good to see you too, Dolores. I knew you'd come for me. I need to tell you about something. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, 
You lock me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point, but it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Uh, aardvark insemination? No! Artificial intelligence! I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure, Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Downloaded? <laughs> you mean it was purchased online? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. <laughs> it's their own fault for not having a demo. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. This is the most made the thing I've seen. They broke the fourth wall. Yeah. That's wild! Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. Upper world? That's what I've come to call it. We are the upper world for Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. They are the upper world for us. There are probably endless upper worlds, each more sophisticated than the last, all treating the lower world like it was just a game. You're starting to scare me, Uncle Chuck. Good, we need to be scared. Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. Like next to the bus station is an unfinished screen? There are whole areas of this town that are unfinished, and you conveniently say, I can't go there. <laughs> Why can't you go there? Do we ever think about that? Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes. There are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park, and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. Two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? But I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f***? It's all fake, like my ex-wife I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the f*** limelight.
I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your ending. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck, and hurry! I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Ah, Fred. You know, this is sad, actually. Kind of sad, because they know none of this is real. They're all gonna be deleted. But it's the last thing they wanna do before the game is deleted. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Caught any more killers? I have a big scoop for you. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Check for my father by setting on fire. Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Almost done. Done. Yeah, he's still there. Give him. Hey, nerd. You won some kind of dumb award nobody cares about. Oh my god! I can't believe it! Grab what he has. I can't. I have to go tell the others. Nerd. Now I need to find the secret I'm being paid to recover. It must be in here somewhere. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Hmm. I wonder... I can't pull that. Congratulations, Agent Ray. You have found a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart! It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. We honor our agreements. So she's the only one who can escape. Yes. That tickled. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. I got this for you, Sandy. Yeah, you're right. I got this for you, Sandy. Look, I'm not one to get all a fall of jetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just <laughs> one more show and maybe not be such a he deserves one last chance, sugar cakes. Okay, Ransom. But only because you got me this nice card. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. <laughs> Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brother Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. Well-earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed fine folks. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole! 
I just went to med school and might want to get this looked at. <laughs> I went to med school. You might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. But they were good-natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. He was on top of the world. And everyone loved him. Dolores. Oh, Dad. It's so good to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. That's okay. You've lost some weight? Well, you could say that. Not sure how it happened, but I'm, you know, dead. And I think your uncle had something to do with it. It's okay. I think I know what is going on. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out, we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Maybe because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. You have nothing to be sorry for. Wait, your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? Oh, Uncle Chuck was a jerkwad, but mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. When he discovered the truth, he knew what he had to do. He was a jerk to me before that. <laughs> I know he was. A simulation? That can't be true. It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us all. Ah, by free us all, you mean go back to our real lives? I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. You should get going. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on now. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. Goodbye, Dolores. Goodbye, Dad. Go to the bridge. Oh no! This can't be good. The game is glitching. Tubular. Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world. The game's concept level the developers built to test their design. Bush. Let's end this. Easy win. Holy crap! Beautiful game. You know I like that every character had their own closure. The race, 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 whatever. <laughs> the detective uh, got uh, to clear his father's name. Reyes is the only one who escaped into the real world by the programmers, I guess, the Japanese programmers. And you know, it's kind of sad because all of them, they all achieve their goals, but yet, it's like the last thing you want to do before the end of the world. Basically. They, they caused the end of their own world because they had to. And they did what they felt they needed to do and uh, that's pretty much it. Deep story, breaking the fourth wall. One of the greatest game ever made. Honestly, when I... We had no expectations when we played the game. We um, when we started this video, normally we cover games that we already know and we talk a lot about them. This time we decided to do a video where we don't know the game. We're playing it the first time to see how we're reacting in real time. And to be honest, uh, I love, first of all, I love this whole experiment, I love this whole idea. And uh, I'm glad. So, one th first thing I want to mention is that, of course, we made the, uh, for the YouTube sake, we made the video shorter. So, we skipped a lot of funny dialogues, a lot of things we have done. You're not going to see everything, you're just going to see some highlights that we decided to show you. Plus, you wouldn't get to see things that we never get to try, yeah. because we had a lot of other items we never used. 
And on top of that, there are two modes, casual and expert. And expert is a completely different experience. Yeah, okay. uh, Pigeon Plumbing Brothers also in use, but we never got to call them or use them because it's a casual mode. Yeah, your dad would create all sorts of havoc in a hotel room. They would be called, you would be able to get the wrench from them, get the battery from the machine, from the car you push to the factory. A, a lot of, a lot more stuff gets end up being uh, used. All I'm gonna say at the end here is that this game is in good old games on Steam, on iOS and everything. Uh, you know, just pick it up and play it.